prawns simmer in hot oil. The chef fries eggs, stirring constantly. When the rice goes in, the real test begins. He twirls the pan vigorously. Finally, an expert prawn fried rice is served. These classic dishes may be simple, but they're staples of Taiwanese cuisine. It tastes like when I was a kid. It has some more old-fashioned ingredients that I learned about from my parents. Sue's cooking is a family recipe. This stir-fry restaurant is nestled inside a car wash. Loyal customers come back again and again for the good food and good vibes. The owner has such a good heart. Every year he holds a dinner for disadvantaged people. We all join in. We were really struggling at home when I was a kid, but now my finances are not bad. Everyone does their little bit so everyone can get a nice full meal. We do it once a year. The charity dinner is now in its sixth year. Twenty banquet tables are set up for 200 guests and struggling neighbours get a free invitation. During the Level 3 alert last year, we offered pay-it-forward meals. The pandemic was tough then, and anyone who was struggling financially could come here to get a free lunchbox. We also had oyster vermicelli noodles and things like that. Dining in was banned during the Level 3 alert, so Xu switched to making charity lunchboxes. They gave out 80 to 100 free lunches every day. The pandemic was so bad last year, he didn't have any profits. It was almost zero, but still, he made charity meals for people. A pandemic will never be easy for a stir-fry restaurant, but Shu has pulled through with the support of his community. And through it all, he never stops helping others.